Serum 2 is finally here. After years of being the go-to synthesizer for producers worldwide, Serum 2 takes a leap into the future with groundbreaking features and expanded capabilities. In this video, we're diving deep into what's new, why it matters, and how it's gonna take your production to the next level. Let's start with the heart of any synthesizer, the oscillators. Serum 2 introduces a third primary oscillator, giving you five independent sound sources in total, which include the sub and noise oscillators. Each primary oscillator can now use any synthesis type independently, opening up massive creative possibilities. The new sound sources include a multi-sample engine. This allows you to load multi-sampled instruments using the SFZ format. From anything like bass guitar to drum one-shots. If you want more flexibility on an individual sample, use the sample oscillator. You can adjust the start, end, and loop point. And use advanced warp modes for FM and phase modulation. It's also great for chopping up longer samples. Granular synthesis takes a huge step forward with 256 simultaneous grains. This is perfect for creating lush textures, atmospheric pads, or even chaotic soundscapes. And the last oscillator type is the spectral mode, which is perhaps the most powerful. Unlike other synthesis methods that operate directly on a waveform, spectral synthesis focuses on harmonic and inharmonic content, allowing for precise control over the timbre and evolution of sound. It's definitely worth exploring each spectral warp mode. They all make such different changes to the sound, but one of my favorites is peak follow. Also locking in the scan parameter is important because that's the speed and rate of playback. One cool trick I've been doing is using MPE to control the spectral warp amount. Serum's iconic wavetable synthesis gets even better. Now you can edit individual unison starting phases, a new smooth interpolation mode makes the wavetable editor way more impactful. Here I have two contrasting wavetables. It's a bit jarring going between the two wavetables, but using smooth interpolation makes it much more musical. Modulation has always been where Serum really shines. The enhanced LFO system now supports independent grid sizes for X and Y. You can now push the LFO's rate up to 1000 Hz using the 10X option. It's nice to dial this in for some cool harmonics. There's even a new path LFO feature with dual XY output for advanced modulation routing. You can map the X and Y values to separate parameters like the cutoff and resonance. and you can draw your own custom paths, which opens up a whole world of possibilities. Envelopes are more powerful too, with four total envelopes and features like BPM sync. You 
You can now control the legato settings of each individual envelope using the inverse legato button. And fully editable modulation remap curves, Serum 2 ensures every sound you create can evolve dynamically and musically. The macro system has doubled to eight macros, giving you the flexibility to customize sounds on the fly. Plus, with Serum 2's new comprehensive routing window, you can easily visualize your signal flow and assign macros to any destination for ultimate control. Serum's effects have always been top of class. It's even included as a standalone plugin. There are new effects modules, including the Bode Frequency Shifter. Convolution Processor. Advanced Distortion with Stackable Counts. The reverb options have expanded to include Vintage, Nitrous, and Basin modes. Giving you incredible depth in your mix and perhaps the biggest addition are the splitter modules. You can now apply effects to certain parts of the frequency spectrum or mid-side signals. Filters are beefed up with new types like Wasp, plus unique options like Diffuser and Comb 2. But the one that offers most possibilities is the PV State Variable Filter. This allows you to draw four different filter shapes and morph between them in various ways. Combined with the new multi-effects buses, you can route and process sounds like never before. And there's an entirely new mix panel, which will streamline your workflow when leveling and dialing in your sound. Performance is at the forefront of Serum 2. The new MIDI clip system allows you to create and sequence MIDI patterns directly within the synth. It supports key commands for streamlined workflow, and even can do automation lanes for virtually any parameter in Serum. Pair this with the advanced arpeggiator for evolving tempo sync sequences that will bring your tracks to life. And you can even create your own custom arpeggiator shapes. There's even scale locking, swing, and oscillator mapping. Ultimately, the Serum manual is the best reference to learn all these features. Now, if you've collected a bunch of Serum presets, don't worry. Serum 2 is backwards compatible with Serum 1 presets. And if you weren't aware, Splice has over 50,000 Serum presets and over 700 Serum 2 presets. <laughs> that was mentioned in this video, the best part of Serum 2 is that it's a free upgrade for existing users. And if you don't have Serum already, you can get it for $9.99 a month on Splice's Rent to Own program. Let us know in the comments which feature you're most excited about. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll catch you all in the next one.